My name is Brenda Tafoya and I work for the Hamas Historic Site. Today I'll be demonstrating on how to make our Pueblo style cherry pie. I am wearing my mask for safety precautions, but once I start the demonstration, I will be taking my mask off. I will be using three and a half cups of flour. I have two cups in um, the measuring cup right now. And I'll be putting another cup, cup and a half. I will be using one fourth cup of sugar. Half a cup of wheat flour. Two tablespoons of baking powder. And then um, one, cup. Of, one cup of Crisco. And this is all mixed and then you add the water. Okay, once you um, mix in the Crisco, make sure it's it's like a cake mix um, texture. And this is ready for to put the water in. Put the water in a little bit at a time. Try not to make it too watery. Once the, the dough is all mixed and soft, then it's ready to roll out. This should be good now. Um, I will be take, pulling it apart half and half for the top, top crust and the bottom. Once you have separated into two balls, you let it set for about 15 minutes, cover it with the uh, dish cloth, and in 15 minutes, we'll go ahead and roll it out. I put two cans of pie filling into this uh, measuring cup. Uh, you can use any bowl, but I'll be starting off with a half a cup of sugar. Then smashing the cherries. Make sure they're all smashed. And then I'll be adding corn starch to make it thick. Okay, make sure all the cherries are smashed. Once they're all smashed, then, then you can add the cornstarch. Corn Thank you. Just put it. I say, um, this is uh, ready to for the cornstarch to be added. I will add one tablespoon. Mix it until it thickens. Okay, this should be ready to spread onto the dough. It's thick enough now. 
Okay, the dough has been set for 15 minutes and it's ready to be rolled out. This is the size of the pan I'll be using, so I'll be rolling the dough out to fit on the pan. I am trying to stretch this uh, dough out to the size of the pan. Hopefully it fits. Cornola oil to spray the pan, you can use Either pan also so that it will not stick. The pan is all sprayed and I will be uh, spreading it all around in the corners so that it won't it won't stick. And the dough is ready to be put on to the pan. I will be needing some help right now <laughs> to put the dough on the pan. I think. Side, side. Wait. A little bit more, a little bit more. It's easy when you use a rolling pin to and stretch it as you put it on the pin. Once you have it on the pin, press it, press it into the rim of the pin. Okay, now that it's neatly put onto the pan, we're going to add the cherries. Spread this cherry all along the pan, corner, corner to corner. Make sure it's even. Okay, I spread all the cherries onto the pan, all the corners. Now I will be rolling out the top part of the pie. This is the top part of the pie crust, so I have to make it as big as the pan too. I have rolled out the top part of the the pie crust and I will be putting uh, Crisco on, on the top so that it will get brown and soft. Okay, I have put Crisco on top of the uh, on the dough for the top part of the pie. And the people that you hear in the background is my helpers, my mom, and my niece, Yolanda. Here. I'm going to put this dough on, onto the rolling pin. So it'll be easier to roll out to put on top. OK. 
Okay. You gotta stretch it as you pulling it to cover the whole pen. These are the kind of pies that you will find at the Red Rocks once when they sell. Hopefully soon we will be selling. Oops. We usually sell cherry pies, prune pies, and apple pies. Now I am taking off the extra dough that is around the pan. All the way around. Once I have taken off all the sides around the uh, pan, I will be pinching it like so. All around. Oops. Once you have pinched all around the sides of the pan, now you are ready to mark the size of your pies. I'm making bite size, but usually at Red Rocks, when they sell, they're bigger than this. I will be snipping the top of the dough. This is because we don't get air pockets. Once you snip the whole thing, it is ready to put into the oven. Sprinkle the whole top part. Once this is done, then it is ready to be put into the oven at 400 for an hour and a half. This is the finished product. Uh, once it's cooled down, you're ready to cut and enjoy. Thank you all for watching the video and I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank my mom and my niece Yolanda for helping me out with this video. Uh, have a safe day and thank you.